all is. <laughs> I was just looking at the next of kin, those closest blood relations who will inherit property. Yeah. From a person who dies without making a will, and then there's the word is used by a sheriff when attempts to attach property of a defendant. Yeah. <laughs> Discovers he has no possessions, and there's nothing. All oh, the statement of a sheriff. Uh -huh. Unable to serve a summons upon a defendant. <laughs> uh, you know, this whole concept of next of kin. <laughs> Could you get me Sandra Taylor and Doug Taylor and my mother and stepfather that I don't know the location of. <laughs> and then there's my aunt and uncle, Wayne and Lois uh, Condit, yes. And then Laurel Ann Argyle and her husband, Rod. Oh. <laughs> now, uh, that would be on the Condit side, wouldn't it? Yes. And then there, uh, George Sinclair, yes. Uh -huh. Stephen Sinclair, which I did call his wife once when I had gotten him here from Guam and she was quite a pickle. Which I just want the next of kin that if I had died from being kicked out of a hospital in the middle of winter at approximately midnight, yes, after Dr. Goldbinger said, yep, he's got the rubber band snot, poo! <laughs> and I did get a prescription for penicillin, but I had no money because I'm homeless. Ouch! And then I said, well, I don't want to participate in your charity, and you put it to collections, and I've been sitting here for the last two and a half years <laughs> explaining to you and law enforcement about my rights being violated, and you thought mandatory reporters have no obligation to report child abduction, pooch, kidnapping, oh, and child exploitation. <laughs> Now, I had mentioned in the last 1,900,000 emails that I wanted to know where my sons are at. Because I'm going to find out every mandatory reporter. And then every city attorney and district attorney that thinks that, well, we can have knowledge of a crime. We don't have to enforce the civil rights. It's more important that they play football than you enforce my rights as a father. Now, there could be some new evidence that we don't know of. Yes. Let's say the city found out of some corruption, <laughs> and the city attorney was complicit in that, in fact, uh, giving aid and comfort to those that have committed treason. Pooch! Then there are the district attorneys in each and every city and county of the United States that thought, no, we're not going to enforce the laws, we're not going to enforce the requirements of the RCWs that you have to give an individual five judicial days before having court orders. Yes. Then there's that big question, is it 12 actual calendar days before a dissolution of marriage? Poo! <laughs> then there's the big one, that big rule. <laughs> if the respondent appears and the petitioner doesn't, <laughs> uh, you have to deny the request. Yes, could be stricken from the docket. Docket. <laughs> now, I'm kind of wanting to know exactly how many millions of Americans I have the legal right to sue for having any knowledge of this county. <laughs> Then there's Jefferson County over there, and you said you didn't have to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. <laughs> you don't have to do a fucking thing because the city. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Well, every city's liable for child abduction, aren't they? It's like a federal offense. <laughs> Then I explained the different conventions and the agreements and the organic acts and I explained all these different laws about why it is. Now, I'm just going to want to know of every mandatory reporter in every city, yes, every county, ooch, every state, all tribal governments, those that are psychiatrists, yes, give me their licenses, give me their actual next of kin, chitch. Because I'm looking for billions today. I mean, billions upon billions upon billions upon billions of dollars today.